The first alert weather team has been tracking Hillary for days now. We're joined now by first alert meteorologist Spencer Blum, who has been taking a look back at the history of Hillary and Spencer. How has the storm changed over the last several days? What's next? Hi, Jennifer. As of right now, Hurricane Hillary is a major Category 4 hurricane. It has a central pressure of 948 millibars and has sustained wind speeds of 130 miles per hour. Currently, it remains about 1,000 miles south of California and still a few hundred miles off the coast of Baja, California. This is the video from Baja, California today. You can see the weather beginning to get worse. As well, Hillary is moving to the northwest at about 12 miles per hour. Hurricane Hillary has strengthened quite considerably over the last 48 hours. Hillary was officially given a name once it became a tropical storm. That occurred at 8 a.m. our time on Wednesday, August 16th. Winds at this time were sustained around 40 miles per hour, and the minimum central pressure was 1,002 millibars. 24 hours later, 8 a.m. Thursday morning, Hillary was a Category 1 hurricane with winds of 86 miles per hour and a central pressure of 980 millibars. Jumping ahead another 24 hours to 8 a.m. this morning, Hil Hillary was a major Category 4 hurricane with sustained winds of over 130 miles per hour and a central pressure of 939 millibars. This is an extremely rapid intensification for a tropical cyclone. The reason Hurricane Hillary has been able to strengthen so much so quickly is because of warm ocean temperatures. Hillary is now in waters well over 80 degrees Fahrenheit. However, it will soon move into much cooler waters, which will cause the storm to weaken just as fast as it grew. Live in studio, Spencer Blum, News Channel 3. All right, thanks, Spencer.